Oh boy! Here we go! So if you don't know, Sydney's in the middle of lockdown and I've got nothing to do. So I thought maybe, just maybe, because I've been playing this game, Minecraft, for quite a bit of time in the past two, three weeks. Maybe I'll just chuck a recording out there, see how it goes. Maybe nothing will come of it, maybe something will, who knows. All I know is that I'm just going to have fun. That's it. With that out of the way, let's just go. So uh, here it is. As you can tell, I've already got stuff set up. Yeah. <laughs> mm, uh, so you're just going to start with me here halfway through my journey. I guess that's how it is. Uh, speaking of which, who am I? Well, I don't, I don't really know. I don't have a skin or anything, so I'm just Moses. <laughs> I'm Moses for now. You can <laughs> don't call me Moses, please. Oh, crap. <laughs> Always keep your shoes on. I'm, I'm just Moses, um, but you can call me Tongy or Tate. I know it's confusing. Don't ask. All right, what are we? What are we gonna do today? Um, well, for now at least. Well, I think what we're gonna do right now is. Maybe I'll do a little tour and then I gotta clean this thing up. <sighs> okay. Let's start with the tour. It's tour time! So, this is me. Say hi, me. Hi, hello. I'm. Okay, let, me, let me fix that. There we go. I'm looking out into the distance. Captured by the purple. Alright, this is my place. Say hello to my place. We are indeed in this shattered savannah, which is absolutely stunning with all these crevices and different places to go and just look at that. Look at look at how this the natural terrain just has all its curves, bumps, ups and downs, it's natural. Or unnatural to some, you know. I ain't judging. Look at this beautiful terrain. There's a little, little valley there. Huge valley down there. And as you can see, we are towering above the majority of the landscape in general. And then we got floating islands. We got this beautiful thing here, which I still have no idea what to do with kind of looks like an arm the arm of the mountain I don't know I'm just pulling stuff out of nothing um, in here we do have a little zombie spawner this is my starter area we what do we have we have farms we got animals we got more farms I've got some chests lined and laid out we got this pumpkin and melon farm, which is absolutely destroying it. Um, I need to actually get these out of here because they are not supposed to be there. Oh, that is gross. Okay. Um, over here, I have a oh, wow, really effective sugarcane farm, it seems, and a subpar cactus farm. Please don't judge me. Um, I know this is Tango Tech's design um, for a modular sugarcane farm. It's really good. Check it out if you can. Um, I got little bee nests just hidden here, but I can't seem to find my bees. I'm, I'm hoping they didn't die or something. 
Um, and then here I've got another bee nest, which is... What's going on? Where are my bees? Oh, sad. Um, and then we're going to build here, uh, which is obviously incomplete, but it's basically supposed to house my villager trading hall. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> um, and the villages are supplied from these stairs, which leads to here and obviously up here. This is a villager breeder that I've used many times before when I've played with other people. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we got a lot of villagers coming. Um, and then here's the front part of the build, which is not complete, obviously. Um, it looks like a mess, but that's fine. I think it's supposed to be messy, which is good. Um, I'll get to that. It is night time. I did try to build this intro, this uh, tour bit before, and then I got pushed off the cliff by a zombie, which was not fun, mind you. Um, but aside from that, like the only thing else that you need to kind of know is that at the bottom here, is a beacon which has a slime chunk a little bit mined out not nowhere near done um and yeah and then my iron farm is here and a bunch of trees okay so you're probably wondering what's going on what is what is this weird setup here i got some weird uh, i got i got what Deep sleep, bricks, black stone, wonky house of death sitting on the side of a cliff with a giant whatever the heck this round thing is uh, on the side of its face and this purple, why purple, uh, iron farm. Well, so, I thought with the introduction of copper, this would be the perfect time to start thinking a bit more steampunky. And obviously this isn't super steampunky. The only thing that you can probably think of steampunky is this thing, although it looks like a giant clock face. Um, but that's okay, that's okay. We're not, no one's judging me, except for myself all the time. Anyway, so the plan is, I'm going to turn this place into a, not floating, but towering steampunk city, I hope. <laughs> it's a big project. <laughs> um, at least that's what I wanted to do. I honestly don't know if I have the time, nor the means, but you know, it'd be fun to try. And so this here isn't a clock, it's actually a giant gear, but you know, you can't really make a gear. Hey, look from the distance. It looks kind of cool. I do like that, right? I might, I might wax a few more pieces and st strip the rust away, but not the rust, the oxidation, um, oxidization, whatever the word is. I don't know. I don't know science. Um, but the whole point is to have an overgrown steampunk land. Steampunk landia. No. Nah not working should give up while I try before I try so the goal is to have some sort of steampunk overgrown steampunk esque place where there'll be pipes and different pieces of stonework all over the place and you might be wondering why on earth would the people have built a steampunk paradise up here and that's because of this thing so what is this purple pink thing? Well, the plan for me at least that I want to do and try and attempt, I've never done anything like this before, is to turn this upside down mountain thingy that's floating into a giant crystal that poops iron. <laughs> um, and and I will show you what I mean by pooping iron. Obviously, I'm just gonna use, you know. All right. So, ooh, boy, I'm inside. That's the thing. So obviously, when I turn on the farm, 
this little, I think I called him James. James right. pops up in there. All right. And then iron, the iron boys, they fall in. And you know what happens when they fall into an iron farm. They die from lava. Lava. Uh, and see? And as you can see, the great mountain decides it wants to poop out the iron. Now the great thing about this mountain is that it's not going to be a mountain by the time I'm done with it. It'll be a giant crystal, um, possibly hoisted by chains, I'm thinking, maybe to that side and to that side of the mountain, maybe over there as well, who knows. And basically, this ancient civilization that was... basically ancient civilization that was here decided they wanted to harness the power of this crystal this singular crystal in the middle of this area and so begins the journey for me at least to transform this place into that civilization um, and you know we might add some greenery everywhere to show oh and i should crack the stone brick say eh? hmm basically we're gonna just show that this place was old and so we're gonna add some overgrowth some greenery we're gonna populate the place with villages we're gonna clean up my mess and we're gonna get to it so yeah i hope you come on this journey with me um it's gonna be interesting i have at least another what two three weeks of lockdown here in sydney so you know i'll try to get at least two or three of these out sometime and maybe more in the future but i don't know we'll see how it goes so anyway first thing is up first things first i could work on that i could work on the crystal the crystal sounds like fun to be honest, because the whole entire civilization kind of revolves around it. Um, this looks like the perfect place for some sort of thing. But basically, I think I need to clean this up. Ugh. Yeah, I don't really know where to put it there. Hmm. Maybe in there. I should probably finish some sort of housing. All right, first order of business, probably have to clean this. Oh, hello. I can hear you. Anyway, I probably have to clean these bits up. Probably will extend this bridge. Uh, so if you come with me up here, you can see that I've extended this out and it kind of looks like a landing platform but I'm thinking what if we take it down and wrap it around again uh, I have marked out the dimensions for where I kind of want this area to kind of roughly be um, and so this might work well if especially I kind of end up down here um, because then we might be able to have this walkway that just goes up into the mountain area and then leads all the way up here and who knows i could probably set up a building here maybe some sort of support structure because this is floating and floating buildings do not exist in the real world so you know you get the idea uh so let's get to it Digging away at this dirt dirt i should have brought my shovel but i didn't oh no church I mean there goes a torch <laughs> am I dumb I might be dumb so we're probably gonna go down using stairs it'll be okay I think it'll be fine maybe maybe I'll extend it to twice as long yeah that sounds that sounds better to me something something about it just rings yeah I prefer having a slower and more relaxed slope than a <laughs> We'll see how we go. Oh, why? Why would you do this? Mm -hmm. 
need one more. <laughs> Now at the bottom ish, second layer, whatever this layer is. Uh, and then I think maybe some sort of like under arch, perhaps? Something to hold this up, but also act as a, a secondary floor. Oh, maybe a little storage area. Yeah, who knows? I don't know. All I know is I want to use the natural contour of this little mountain a bit more to my advantage so maybe I'll cut away like a cave opening and see where we go from there actually I just need to know where the where the entrance is I'll be back okay so I got a little dug a little inside I found a yeah um we're gonna see what happens if we dig maybe around it all right so now I kind of know that I have to avoid that. Oh! Hello! Okay, I don't mind that. That's pretty cool. Okay. And there's not a lot of room, to be honest. But I'm kind of seeing it now. Like a little hole held by steampunk pipes, copper pipes, and then, yeah, I, I can, I can work with this, just give me, give me a moment. It's time for a time lapse,
And just like that, we are, I think we're done. <laughs> As you can see, we have a now function staircase that leads into here. Um, now what I'm gonna do with this area, I'm not too sure, but I'm thinking if we can hold it out, there is an opportunity here. Ooh, perfect. All right, so we've cleared out this area over here. Is there anything more going to be? Oh no, there's more. <laughs> uh, I'll do this later. But as you can see, we've made some pretty decent progress. Uh, let's clean this up as well. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. And so. I think we got something good going. I'm gonna do a little fly around. Well, yeah, now I'm just going to have to add a bit more copper stuff and see how we go. Boop, 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 boop. And just like that, we're done. But I don't know how I feel about this. Maybe I'll... I might find a better place for tomorrow or later. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think this is coming out nicely. No, it's... Wow, I was supposed to move and clear all of that. Well, I guess I can move all this stuff from here. At least my, my stuff. Maybe, maybe we'll see. Yeah, yeah, there's a nice temporary chest storage thing. We're gonna put some here. Gotta figure out what to do with these boys. Oh boy, that's a long line. But yeah, with that, I'm gonna have to go. Bye bye. <laughs> I have no idea how to do this. Help. Send help. Please. Please. Also, I had to turn off the farm because it was pooping out too much. <laughs> okay, bye.